Here's a really common question. How often should I float a horse's teeth? And I find that the answers out there are often off the cuff and have no bearing in, in reality. For instance, uh, commonly people float their horse's teeth once a year, uh, sometimes twice a year, and uh, sometimes never. <laughs> but uh, how often you should do it is totally up to the horse. It has nothing to do with you or your convenience, um, and, and it has a little bit to do with age and genetics. Uh, age is between um, two and a half years of age and five years of age, the horse goes through a tremendous uh, change in the mouth. They lose 24 baby teeth with 24 permanent teeth coming in, and some of those teeth can wreak havoc inside a horse's mouth. Um, and then from five to about 20 or so, um, they're constantly being worn down, and genetically, some of these guys have very soft teeth, and they wear down very quickly, creating very sharp points quickly. <clears throat> If they have uh, the hard teeth that some horses are genetically blessed with, <clears throat> those horses um, sometimes need it less often. And I can pretty much guarantee that somewhere between six months and 12 months, every horse needs to have their teeth floated again. Now what's more important is not how sharp the teeth are, but their threshold of pain. I've gone over this before in other videos, but it's their perception of the pain that makes all the difference uh, on how often they float. Like, there's one horse <clears throat> that called, the owner called me every six weeks or so. And it was so funny because she says, she, she, uh, I didn't answer the phone. She says, Doc, it's time. And then she'd hang up. I mean, that was it. I knew who it was. I knew why I was going out there. <clears throat> and it was this uh, Arab stallion, uh, pardon me, a saddlebred stallion that had on his first upper left cheek tooth a sharp point that for some reason, the way he licked or whatever, created a sharp point and as soon as it became sharp she noticed it on the bed. I go out there round off the first upper cheek tooth <clears throat> on the left hand side <clears throat> sorry and uh, and the horse was fine that's all that had to be done and then um, every six months I did a complete job so um, yeah it's a threshold of pain that determines how often a horse's teeth should be uh, floated and also horses under five years of age should be checked especially if you're spending time and money in training such as a thoroughbred racehorse, a stand bred, um, or even um, uh, any other uh, discipline. If you're spending, investing your time in making this horse's, uh, horse uh, be comfortable on the bed, you may have to float his teeth up to four times a year, and that's not uncommon. Um, and you have to balance that out with how much you're willing to spend on the care of your horse, um, but I think you spend more on, on just about everything else than uh, floating teeth. And sometimes just floating the teeth and getting the paint out uh, will re yield tremendous results <clears throat> in your training program. So that's it. It's not how sharp the teeth are. <clears throat> it's a threshold of pain.